Welcome again to Military Guna TV. Thank you very much for tuning in. Um, this year is another interesting one. We're going to discuss Kaim Paris. Who is Kaim Paris? Who is the 16 year old that called up in 2017 for, for, for international game for the reggae boys against a Trinidad and Tobago team? What was so special about this young man at that particular time period? Why they sought to call him up for the national team? We're going to get some details and give you some, some insight on Kaim Paris and why Kaim Paris is the future of the reggae boys but before we get into that there's two things i would wish and appreciate if you guys would do that is hitting that like button down there i think it's somewhere down there it's somewhere down there and most definitely hitting that subscribe button for continuously good content like these so let's get straight in, um, into the details let's get to some background details on the man of the war um kaim paris so the prolific midfielder Kaim Paris 20 is um, creating, creating waves internationally as he continues to grow professionally. The former dental standout represent, um, represent the school, the Casa Cup team, for two terms before making his National Premier League debut for Cavaliers um, FC in 2017. Hmm, funny enough, strange, eh? Cavaliers 2017, 16-year-old international call-up, strike anything? But anyways, <laughs> um, this is about um, Kaim Paris. So, during the 2016-2017 season, Kaim Paris won the Honor 17 League as well as scored the winning goal that secured the senior team promotion back to the Jamaica Premier League, which is Cavaliers. So he saved Cav Cavaliers at that part particular time. Um, he has always been a regular member of the youth selection of the Jamaica national team. So you can, look at that, you can definitely look at that and say that he warrants his call-up. In the Caribbean on a 17 qualifiers, he played an important role in helping Jamaica to advance to the 2017 CONCACAF on a 17 qualifiers in Panama. Kaim was a starter in all game and scored both goals Jamaica 2-1 victory over El Salvador. In August, he was called up to the national team, Cena national team, <laughs> and earned his first cap versus Trinidad and Tobago. He's now a regular starter for Cavaliers and you know that is back then um red stripe premier league before he makes he made the move now let's get into some more details about um let's get into some other intricacies about um kaim paris so achievement cavaliers for senior team 2017 2017 2018 season um start of our cavaliers fc um on a regular basis uh leading goal scorer for the on a on the 19th september um in from september to november i think he scored yeah he scored 30 goals in 20 games so that is the dacasa cup um competition um national senior um team um team cap 2017 as well so he has achieved quite a lot during his small stint as a player now bear in mind now this is a young man who's in some outstanding work as at age as a, at a tender age from 16 and as, as I said, getting called up to his foreigner, he's uh, seen a um, cap, that's tremendous at 16. And also, bear in mind that and this young man is a little country boy coming from um, the, the parish of St. Catherine, out of Linstead, attended the Dintel Technical um, High School. Yes, it's not my school, for sure, it's my neighbor, neighboring school. But you have to give, um, I have to give um, <laughs> credence to my rivals for producing such a top, top quality player now in recent time Kaim Paris has been doing some tremendous work as well in the league so this year as you can see his movement his international cap and all the intricacies of how he's so this season in this season alone he has scored a total of nine goals with three assists and I do think that is tremendous in all aspects it doesn't matter how you look at it that is um some great great um um att attributes now, remember, he also scored 16 goals and, and was awarded the Golden Boot for the, Slovak for the Slovenian League and with 21 appearance. That, that is when he was at Domsdale, keeping them in the league. He moved from Domsdale to Kraka and he won the award in that same particular season. Then, no, Copper was a team who was actually in um, Kaim Paris. At that time, he was in the second division. And then, no, he helped, he helped I think he helped, um, he helped Kraka to reach the first division and then now he move on to FC Copper in which is where it where is at right now creating storms creating storms and as at the moment 
and says at the moment um it's between cracker or dumsel one of them one of the both teams he helped keep up i can't remember exactly because it's so confusing <laughs> but i do think that um it could be um cracker but anyways he's doing tre tremendous right now as i said this season hasn't completed as it nine goal three assists nine goal people three assists as you can see from his core sheet right there so that has a lot to say about him so this uh, this is another aspect of his talent that i want to highlight to you guys um kain paris made the official slovenia um league team for the week of um for the same time this season paris made the team of the week in game week two three five six eight twenty one and now twenty eight so he has been a super, he has been a supernatural talent in the league so far and most noticeably one of the most important players in fc copper team now why is kain paris the future of the reggae boy now there's a lot to talk about in this one there's a lot to talk about the talent set that kain paris possess is why is one in which you say there's a few players even in our team right now that has that talent set. i would maybe say one player and that's leon bailey and that's leon bailey and i do believe that there's a bigger and better things coming for kain paris at this moment pending and i do think that this move will highlight how well he's doing because a lot of people are still not seeing how well he's doing because of that slovenian league it's kind of not that highlighted like the most of the top leagues them right across the board but definitely he should give his due credit this is the position right here as you can see circled highlighted um that in that position that is the position in which he preferred to play over to the left hand side but he's quite fluid he can play right across the front line so he has been tremendous he has also was recorded in the H in the, in the IFHHS um, as one of the best dribblers across all um, top leagues. Um, you can go and check it out for yourself. If you think I'm bluffing, if you think I'm lying, go and check it out for yourself. That research was done by some university um, persons who studied some footballing aspect of, of thing. I I don't even know why they do that, but you can go and check that out for yourself. So. Why, why is Kain Paris the future of the reggae boys? What makes Kain Paris so special? His dribbling ability, his technical ability. He has so much to offer. Kain Paris has so much to offer. And we're just seeing a tip of the iceberg right now. The 22 year old has a lot more in, 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 in his barrel. And I do believe he would be a tremendous player coming in the future. And if we should get this man um going in the national setup i do believe that he is the future he's one of the players for the future and definitely there are more there are more players but definitely kain paris is one player in particular that i want to zoom in on today and give you guys some independent analysis of what and how i think kain paris is doing so far so definitely people i would really appreciate it if you guys go in the comment section Tell me what you think about Kain Paris. Do you think that he really, really um, is the future or is one of the future of the Jamaican football? Tell me what you think, people. I would really appreciate it um, and uh, to get a better understanding of what you guys think about Kain Paris and what he can offer to the Reggae Boy team. In the meantime, people, whilst you're doing that, please also hit that like button and make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're here for the first time. Until next time, this is Military Guna TV, soon to be changed to MG, TV, MG Sports TV, but definitely... In due time. Until next time, we're out, people.